Okay guys, I had to restart this video. Um, had a neighbor come over, our daughter was just born, so they gave us a present that was super nice of them. Um, give me a second, I gotta get some gloves. This robot is disgusting to say the least. Um, if I didn't buy this robot for this video to show y'all how it worked, I would not be taking this one apart. I'm definitely not going to sell this one. Um, let me... These parts won't be for sale. Maybe the battery, but I'll show you just how... This is by far the worst robot I've ever seen. Even the dog shit robot doesn't come close to this. So this is a 700... Uh, model number RV740, um, household use only, it's a uh, model R700, uh, no need for serials, both wheels move up and down, it is missing one of the spinners, there's the other one that's completely disgusting, um, so yeah, let's start, so let's go ahead and remove a battery, now these batteries are different. I don't even know if this one came with a battery because the pictures of this one were not this bad. So, I definitely will be messaging the seller. Okay, so, yep, this is, this is a 700 series. Now there's a 700 and a 700 uh, underscore N. Now, the, the only difference is the connector. There's two different connectors on these batteries and actually I have, one second. So here's the connectors. They're completely different. 850s. This is actually a bad battery. First one I've ever gotten. So 850s, 725s, 750s. Now these will not work in 750. No, they work in 750 and they won't work in regular 750s. These will work in 750s. There's also a 761, I think it was, that I just got. Um, that I've never, never seen before. And I will admit I'm wrong that the wheels... The wheels, the drive wheels, right and left, are not the same. Did not know that. Completely threw me for a loop. Had someone order one, asked me. I told him, yeah, sure, it'll work. It didn't work. Wow, this thing's gross. Um, how this even worked at all is beyond me. There is more hair in this robot than in my wife's head. It's insane how much hair is in this. I'm not even kidding. Like, ah, oh, that's so gross. Normally I don't get grossed out working on robots. And they sent me the thing full of crap. You can tell whoever had this did not take care of it. I'm honestly curious to see if it even works. Um, I say it didn't, and I, I, I can understand why. Let me see if I can get a razor blade and cut some of this off. Let's see if I can cut some of this hair off to show you what this is supposed to look like. This is crazy. And then people wonder why their stuff doesn't work. I ain't ever seen something this bad, robot-wise. That's just, there's wire and hair and... I was going to do a teardown video, but this video is going to be if I can't even get this thing to work. Let me, let me try to get this robot to work real quick. And then I'll make a full teardown video afterwards. This is crazy. You can't even see the rollers on this thing. <laughs> yep, doesn't work. Don't know what the problem is. I really should put this in the uh, knife, but. Holy shit.
Someone has some really thick, very strong red hair. Okay. Let's pause for a minute. I need some different tools. So we will come back. All right, we're back. I had to switch to some heavier duty gloves and tools for this. I don't know if y'all can see anything. Y'all see this? I'm almost certain that even with me getting all of this out, this robot's not going to be in very good shape. I mean, this thing is so nasty. I've seen some clogged stuff on these robots, the brushes and stuff, but this, this is insane. <laughs> I really don't know how it even lasted as long as it did. I mean, look, you got hair ties, wire ties, rubber bands. Some people are probably going to say, why are you even going through the trouble? Because I'm curious what is actually wrong with this robot. Because to be honest, it's pretty rare that these go bad. The 700 series was one of their flagship robots. And to be all honest, they're really good robots. Wow. There's still so much hair in it. I was wondering why the uh the cover was kind of peeled up when I first flipped it over, and now I know why. There was just so much hair that the cover literally couldn't, couldn't do anything but come up. I'm really sorry for the bad video, guys. <laughs> Look at that. That's so I normally don't mind working on these robots, but this one is really, look at that. All off the roller.
Okay, so let's just put this thing together really quick and see if it will work. I don't know if the battery even has a charge. Battery's got a charge, so the battery's good. I'll sell that once I clean it. So if you need a battery for one of these, hit me up. If you need anything else. Um, I will probably be getting some more of these. Hopefully in better shape. So this one is claimed to be broken. With all the hair that was clogged in it, I'm surprised it worked at all. So let's see what we got. I can honestly not believe this thing actually works. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. Here, let's put some screws down. Get some... Holy shit, it actually works. Well, we can get it working. Um, yeah, guys. So, I was able to get it working. It's just clogged up. Now, for the disassembly.